Greetings anime fans! In this video I'm going to reveal the top 20 new anime, including new seasons, that will blow your mind with their amazing stories, visuals, and characters. But I don't want to keep all the fun to myself. I want to hear from you too. What do you think of these anime? Do you agree with my rankings? Do you have any other suggestions? Please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. I appreciate your feedback, and I'll consider it for future videos. Some of the anime on this list are still ongoing, so be prepared for some surprises and twists. Welcome to the world where anything is possible and reality is overrated. After 20 years of hibernation, Trigun Stampede is back with a bang, or rather a stampede. It is a reboot of the classic anime series that follows the legendary gunslinger Vash the Stampede and his new companions. Studio Orange has given the series a makeover with stunning 3D animation that makes the bullets fly and the explosions pop. If you're a fan of Cowboy Bebop and Ghost in the Shell, you'll love Trigun Stampede's blend of sci-fi and western genres. The show pays homage to the original Trigun series, while also being a more faithful adaptation of Yasuhiro Naito's manga. Of course, not everyone is happy with the changes. Lots of fans are crying foul over the new character designs and the use of CG. They say it ruins the charm and nostalgia of the old Trigun. But hey, change is inevitable and sometimes change is good. Trigun Stampede is a show that deserves your attention. Whether you're a newcomer or a veteran, it's a wild ride through a futuristic frontier with quirky characters and solid animation. Are you tired of watching the same old isekai anime, where the protagonist gets transported to a video game world and becomes an overpowered hero with a harem of cute girls? Do you want to see something different? Shangri-La Frontier is an adaptation of a web novel and manga series by Katarina and Ryosuke Fuji. The anime is made by C2C, the same studio that brought you Harukana Receive and The Journey of Elena. The main character is Rakuru Hizutome, a high school student who loves playing crappy VR games. He has a knack for finding and exploiting glitches, bugs, and loopholes in these games, which makes him a master of breaking them. He enjoys playing and beating them with his skills and knowledge, but he also feels bored by their lack of quality and originality. One day he decides to try Shangri-La Frontier, a legendary game with 30 million players and a vast and realistic world. But he soon realizes that the game is not as easy as he thought and that it hides many secrets and mysteries that he has to unravel. Shangri-La Frontier is a fantasy anime that combines action, adventure, comedy, and drama. You will be amazed by the beautiful graphics and its gameplay, as well as the diverse and colorful characters that Rakuru meets along his journey. It also has been praised by critics and fans for its animation quality, soundtrack, voice acting, and story development. But don't just take my word for it, watch Shangri-La Frontier for yourself and see what the hype is all about. You won't regret it, unless you hate fun, in which case you can go back to watching Sword Art Online or something. If you're in the mood for some nightmares, check out Junji Ito Maniac, Japanese Tales of the Macabre on Netflix. This series is a tribute to the master of horror manga, Junji Ito, and adapts 20 of his most bizarre and creepy stories. You'll see things you can't see, like balloons with human faces, ice cream that melts your brain, and a woman who loves snails a little too much. But don't expect this series to scare the hell out of you. Japanese Tales of the Macabre is more of a mixed bag than a treat. Some of the stories are faithful to the original manga, while others are butchered by poor editing and pacing. Some of the stories are genuinely terrifying, while others are laughably absurd, and some of the stories are just plain confusing, leaving you wondering what the hell you just saw. That's not to say the show is a total waste of time. There are some gems in the bunch that show Ito's genius for horror. They will make you question your sanity, your reality, and your mortality. They will also make you appreciate the simple things in life, like not having a hole in your chest or a snail on your head. Japanese Tales of the Macabre is not for everyone. It's for those with a twisted sense of humor and a strong stomach. It's for those who are fans of Ito's work or those who want to explore his dark and twisted imagination. Need more spy action and cute kids in your life? Well, you're in luck because there's a new anime series that might just scratch that itch. It's called Buddy Daddies, and it's about two badass assassins who have to take care of a four-year-old girl named Miri. Sounds like a recipe for disaster, right? Well, it is, but it's also a recipe for fun, laughter, and tears. Buddy Daddies is an original anime series from PA Works, the studio behind such hits as Angel Beats and Charlotte. The series follows the adventures of Kaito and Ryo, two professional assassins who work for a mysterious organization. One day, they are assigned to adopt Miri, a girl who witnessed a murder and has a secret connection to one of them. Now they must juggle their deadly missions with their new roles as fathers. And believe me, it's not easy, especially when Miri thinks that Kaito is her real father. The anime has received rave reviews from fans and critics alike, praising its originality, charm, and heart. The the anime explores themes of childcare, organized crime, and trauma without being too dark or depressing. It also has plenty of humor and action to keep you entertained. Don't worry, this anime isn't trying to rip off Spy X Family. It has its own flavor and personality and offers a fresh take on the spy genre. Zombies have been done to death in many media, 
but anime still has some fresh takes on the undead. One of them is ZOM 100 Bucket List of the Dead, a hilarious and heartwarming comedy that follows a young man who finds new joy in life after the zombie apocalypse. It might even be the best zombie anime ever made, or at least the most optimistic one. Akira Tendo is a 24-year-old who works for a finance company. He hates his job, his boss, and his colleagues. He has no hobbies, no friends, and no love life. He is a walking corpse who has given up on his dreams. But everything changes when he wakes up one day and sees that Tokyo is infested with zombies. Instead of being scared or sad, Akira feels liberated and happy. And he decides to make a bucket list of 100 things he wants to do before he turns into a zombie himself and sets off to fulfill them with his buddy Kensho, a fellow survivor who loves to undress and prank the undead. Along their journey, they meet other people who have their own ways of coping with the end of the world. It makes fun of the zombie genre in the modern society. It shows how Akira and his friends enjoy the simple pleasures of life, such as eating ramen, playing video games, or confessing to a crush while avoiding or outsmarting the zombies. It also has some touching moments that highlight the importance of friendship, love, and life. So, if you are looking for a zombie anime that is not depressing, boring, or cliched, then you should watch ZOM 100. It will make you appreciate life more and maybe even inspire you to make your own bucket list, as I've already done myself. If you're a fan of anime and video games, you're in for a treat. One of the best games of all time has been adapted into an anime series, and it's a masterpiece. I'm talking about Nier Automata, the anime adaptation of Square Enix and Yoko Taro's hit game. It's a sci-fi epic that follows two B and 9S, two badass androids, as they battle the evil machines that have taken over the world. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, think again. This anime is anything but simple. It's a stunning journey that will make you question everything you know about life, humanity, and war. The anime has received rave reviews from fans and critics alike, praising its faithful adaptation, stunning animation, and haunting soundtrack. It captures the essence of the game even using the same opening sequence. How cool is that? It also explores the deep and dark themes and questions raised by the game, such as what it means to be alive, what makes us human, and the consequences of violence. Near Automata is not a typical anime series. It's a series that will challenge you, surprise you, and move you. It's a series that will make you think, feel, and cry. It's a series that will make you want to play again, or maybe for the first time. Either way, you won't regret it, except for the fact that the series is on hiatus and the sequel will be released at an unknown date. If you enjoy comedy and slice-of-life genres, then you might want to check out The Masterful Cat is Depressed Again today. This anime is based on a web manga by Hitsuji Yamada and produced by Gohans. It tells the story of Saku Fukuzawa, a cute young office worker who lives with her cat, Yukichi. But Yukichi is not just any cat. He is a huge talking cat who can walk on two legs and can do everything from cooking to shopping. He is also very smart, proud, and sometimes moody. He takes care of Saku's daily needs, while Saku is a bit of a mess. She is careless, lazy, and often drinks, well, a bit too much. She also likes to hoard things and neglects herself. Together, they have a sweet and funny relationship that brightens up their lives. The anime has 13 episodes, each one showing a different situation or event involving Saku and Yukichi, as well as their friends and neighbors. The anime also reveals how they met and how their bond grew over time. The anime is charming and relaxing, and it will make you laugh for real. The characters are likable and relatable. They have a lot of chemistry and cute moments. And you believe in this story, even a giant cat who's a great cook. I wish I had one of those. Tokyo Revengers Season 2 continues the thrilling story of Takamichi as he discovers his ability to travel back in time to his teenage years. This season delves deeper into the investigation of his girlfriend's death and the repercussions of altering the past. As Takamichi unravels the mysteries surrounding his girlfriend's demise, viewers are kept at the edge of their seats with the engaging plot filled with unexpected twists and turns. Trying to fully understand it is like trying to untangle a bunch of earbuds in your pocket without accidentally summoning a demon. Harder than it sounds, don't ask. In the second season, the Tokyo Manji Gang faces new challenges brought about by their rivals, the Black Dragons. Additionally, audiences can look forward to delving into the past, present, and future of Chifuyu Matsuno, a character whose backstory will be explored further. Now, it has received some mixed reviews. On the positive side, it's got intense action, emotional drama, and character development. However, there are some concerns about the animation quality. There have also been comments about the pacing and a somewhat repetitive plot. How many times can Takamichi go back in time and still mess everything up? It's worth noting that this season takes a darker and more supernatural turn compared to its predecessor, incorporating themes that challenge Takamichi's resolve and moral compass. The wait is over! Vinland Saga Season 2 is here and it's a blast from the past. Literally, this historical anime takes you back to the 11th century, where you'll witness epic battles, political intrigue, and personal drama. You'll also follow the journey of Thorfinn, a Viking warrior who lives for one thing, revenge. He wants to kill the man who killed his father, and he won't stop until he does. 
or will he? Because the second season of Vinland Saga is a different beast than the first. While the first season was all about blood and glory, the second season is more about soul-searching and redemption. Thorfinn must face the consequences of his actions and his emotions as he realizes that revenge is not as sweet as he thought. He also meets new characters, such as Einar, a former slave who becomes his friend on a farm. Yes, you heard right, a farm. Don't worry, there's still plenty of action and adventure. But this season also explores the themes of friendship, freedom and forgiveness. Vinland Saga director Shuhei Yabuta has done a great job adapting the manga by Makoto Yukimura. He stayed true to the source material while adding his own touch and vision. The animation team is also the same as the first season, so you can expect the same high-quality visuals and sound that made Vinland Saga a hit. Vinland Saga Season 2 is a must-watch for fans of historical anime and action anime alike. If you're a fan of science and adventure, you'll be happy to hear that Dr. Stone is back. This post-apocalyptic anime series has been on hiatus for two years, but now it's ready to rock your world again. In this show, everyone has been turned to stone by a mysterious phenomenon, and only a few have managed to break free. The show follows Senku Ishigami, a brilliant scientist who wants to use his wits and skills to revive humanity. He's joined by his loyal friends as well as his nemesis, who has a different vision for the future. Together, they face many challenges and enemies in their quest to restore civilization. The third season begins with the Age of Exploration arc. It takes the characters on a journey across the sea, where they hope to find clues and secrets about the world they live in. They also encounter a mysterious figure who may hold the key to all of this. Who is he? What does he want? And how does he know so much? Dr. Stone is a show that will make you laugh, learn, and wonder. It's a show that combines science and fiction in creative and entertaining ways. Ruruni Kenshin, a classic anime series that has stood the test of time. This is a remake of the 1990s manga and anime by Nobuhiro Watsuki, which follows the adventures of Himura Kenshin, a man who was once known as Hitokiri Batusai, the most feared killer of the Bakumatsu period. When Japan was undergoing a civil war, Kenshin fought for the revolutionaries who wanted to create a new era of peace and prosperity, but he also killed countless people with his sword. After the war ended, he decided to atone for his sins by vowing never to kill again and wandering the country as a Ruruni, or a wanderer. Leiden Films and Hideo Yamamoto aim to create a darker, more realistic and serious adaptation of the original story, while also using modern animation techniques to appeal to both old and new fans. The remake covers the first arc of the story, where we meet the main characters and learn about their backgrounds and motivations. We also get to see some of the themes that will be explored later. Ruruni Kenshin is a great anime series for anyone who enjoys historical fiction, action, drama, and romance. It has a rich and complex complex plot, memorable and likable characters, and stunning animation. It is also a faithful adaptation of the manga, which is widely considered to be one of the best in its genre. Dark Gathering is based on a popular manga by Kenichi Kondo and produced by OM, the same studio that brought us Pokemon and Inazuma Eleven. You know, the ones that make you feel nostalgic and old. Dark Gathering tells the story of Keita Rugentuga, a college student who can see ghosts with his cursed right hand. He hates anything related to the supernatural and prefers to stay away from it. However, his life changes when he becomes a tutor for Yayoi Huzuki, a genius girl who loves the paranormal and is searching for the ghost of her mother. Together, they encounter various kinds of spirits and curses, some of which are terrifying and some of which are hilarious, and some of which are just plain weird. The anime has a great balance of horror and comedy, as it mixes scary and gruesome scenes with funny and lighthearted moments. The anime also pays homage to many classic horror works. If you are a fan of these, you will enjoy spotting the references and Easter eggs. If you are not, you will still enjoy laughing at how ridiculous they are. The main characters are very likable and have a lot of chemistry. Keitaru is a cowardly but kind-hearted guy who tries to protect Yayoi from danger. Yayoi is a fearless and adorable girl who wears shark shoes and can overpower most ghosts with her spiritual abilities. Their relationship is so cute and frustrating that you will want to scream at the screen. The only drawback of the anime is that sometimes Yayoi seems too overpowered, which makes the horror less effective. If you're a fan of Demon Slayer, you're in for a treat. The third season of the hit anime series is here, and it's going to blow your mind. The Swordsmith Village arc is the next chapter in the epic saga of Tanjiro Kamado and his friends, who are on a mission to slay demons and save his sister. But it won't be easy. They must face some of the most powerful and ruthless demons they've ever encountered. And they have to do it with style. Because this season, Tanjiro and company will visit a hidden village where they make the coolest swords ever. Not only are these swords sharp and strong, but they have special abilities and designs that reflect the personalities and skills of their wielders. You'll also meet some new characters such as the swordsmiths who create these amazing weapons and the Hashira who protect them. This season of Demon Slayer will be exciting and emotional journey for you with new battles, new revelations and new themes.
If you're looking for a blazing hot anime series to warm up your cold winter days, look no further than The Fire Hunter. Based on Keiichi Sakawa's novel series and animated by Signal MD, this show takes you to a world where fire is both friend and foe. Imagine living in a world where you can spontaneously combust if you get too close to natural fire. Sounds like a nightmare, right? Well, that's the reality for the people of Japan who have isolated themselves from the rest of the world and rely on a mysterious substance called Fiend Fire to survive. Fiend Fire is extracted from monsters that live in the forests, and the only ones who can hunt them are the Fire Hunters, brave warriors who wield special weapons and have loyal dogs by their side. The story follows a young girl who inherits a fire sickle and a dog from a fire hunter who saved her life and died in the process. She decides to travel to the capital to return his belongings to his family. Along the way, she meets the son of her savior, who is on a quest to find out the truth behind Fiend Fire and its connection to human combustion. The Fire Hunter has a unique and original premise that sets it apart from other shows in the genre. The plot is not just a straightforward adventure, but also a suspenseful and thrilling mystery that keeps you guessing and hooked until the end. The world building is not very detailed or consistent, leaving some questions unanswered or unclear. However, these issues are minor compared to the strengths of the show. The Fire Hunter is a hidden gem that deserves more attention and recognition. It offers a refreshing and captivating take on fantasy anime series. If you love romantic comedies and slice-of-life stories, you might have already watched Horimiya, one of the best anime of 2021. Horimiya follows the blossoming relationship between Kyoko Hori and Izumi Miyamura, two high school students who discover each other's hidden sides. Along the way, they also make friends with their quirky classmates and deal with the joys and challenges of growing up. Horimiya was a great anime, but it had to leave out some chapters from the manga due to time constraints. That's why we have a sequel that adapts those skipped stories and gives us more insight into the characters and their daily lives is a must-watch for Horimiya fans, as it adds more depth and humor to the original series. The Missing Pieces consists of 13 episodes, each one focusing on a different theme or event. The episodes are mostly standalone and lighthearted, but they also show some character development and progression of the main couple's relationship. The anime is a pure ensemble comedy, with Hori and Miyamura being very much co-leads alongside their friends. The Missing Pieces completes Horimiya to the point that its episodes should almost be intercut into the previous season. If you haven't watched Horimiya yet, I highly recommend you to check it out first because it's a great romantic comedy with relatable characters and heartwarming moments. And if you have watched it, don't miss The Missing Pieces because it will make you love Horimiya even more. Undead Murder Farce. This dark fantasy anime is based on a novel series by Yugo Aosaki, which also has a manga adaptation. The anime takes place in an alternate 19th century where humans share the world with supernatural beings such as vampires, oni, werewolves, and golems. The protagonist is Sugaru Shinuchi, a former oni slayer who has lost his humanity and his lifespan due to a mysterious experiment. He is hired by Aya Rindo, an immortal yokai who has been beheaded and robbed of her body by a mysterious half-demon with an M on his cane. Along with Shizuku Hase, Aya's loyal servant and a skilled fighter, they travel across Europe to find Aya's body and the man who stole it. Undead Murder Farce is a captivating anime that combines macabre, gruesome, and stylish elements. The anime has a main plot that involves familiar figures, but it mostly features episodic cases that last for a few episodes each. The anime follows the novel series closely but also adds some original content that enriches the story. If you are looking for an anime that has a unique premise, a compelling story, and a mix of horror and comedy, then Undead Murder Farce is the one for you. Just don't expect it to be realistic, logical, or historically accurate. After all, it's a murder farce, not a documentary. If you're a fan of Kaguya-sama, you might be wondering what else the genius writer Akasaka has in store for you. Well, wonder no more, because Oshi no Ko is here to blow your mind. This anime is based on Akasaka's manga of the same name, and it's a wild ride that combines reincarnation, idol culture, and murder mystery into one emotionally complex and gripping story. The anime follows a doctor and fanboy of Ai Hoshino, a popular idol. He has the chance to deliver her twins, but his happiness is short-lived as he's killed by a stalker shortly after. He wakes up as Aqua Hoshino, one of the twins, and discovers that his sister Ruby is also a reincarnated soul. Through Ai's story, the anime reveals the dark and brutal reality behind the glamorous facade of the idol industry. It exposes the exploitation, manipulation, and violence that idols must endure in order to achieve fame and success. It mixes multiple genres and themes in a way that only Akasaka can. It's a seamless blend of comedy, drama, mystery, and horror that will keep you hooked from start to finish.
If you are a fan of isekai, fantasy, and adventure, then you might want to check out Mushoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation Season 2. This is the sequel to one of the most popular and influential isekai anime of all time, based on the light novel series by Refugin Namaganote. The story follows Rudeus Grey Rat, a 34-year-old neat who dies in a traffic accident and is reincarnated in a fantasy world. He retains his memories and personality from his previous life and decides to live his new life without regrets. Before the second season officially started, there was a special episode that revealed what happened to Sylphiette after she was teleported away from Rudeus. This episode is essential to watch, as it introduces a new character who will have a big impact on the politics of Mushoku Tensei's world. The second season covers the adolescence period of Rudeus's life, where he travels the world in search of his missing mother. Along the way, he meets old and new friends, faces dangers and challenges, and develops his relationships with the three main heroines. Mushoku Tensei is known for its rich world-building and character development as well as its controversial fan service scenes that might not be for everyone. The second season has a different tone than the first one, as it focuses more on Rudeus's personal growth than on action and drama. However, it still has plenty of twists and surprises that will keep you hooked or make you rage quit. Either way, you won't be bored. Spy X Family is here for its second season. It's based on a hit manga by Tatsuya Endo, which has sold over 31 million copies and won several awards. The anime is produced by two of the best studios in the business, Wit Studio and Cloverworks, and it has received rave reviews and high ratings for its animation, music, humor, and story. The story of Spy X Family is set in a world where two rival countries, Westalis and Ostania, are on the brink of war. A Westalian spy named Twilight is given a mission to infiltrate the inner circle of Donovan Desmond, an Ostania politician politician who wants to start a war. To do this, he needs to enroll a child in Eden Academy, a prestigious school for the elite. He adopts a young girl named Anya, who happens to be a telepath who can read minds. He also marries a woman named Yor Briar, who works as a city hall clerk but is actually an assassin, known as Thorn Princess. Neither Twilight nor Yor know each other's true identities or jobs, or that Anya knows their secrets. They pretend to be the Forger family, a perfect but chaotic household that has to juggle their individual goals with their growing feelings. Spy X Family is an anime that will make you laugh for its lovable characters and wacky situations. It has everything you could want from a comedy show. Exciting spy missions, funny misunderstandings and gags, cute and endearing characters, and touching moments of genuine emotion. Hell's Paradise Jigokuraku. The story is set in the Edo period of Japan, where a group of death row convicts are given a chance to earn their freedom by participating in a dangerous mission. They have to travel to a mysterious island called Shinsenkyo, where the elixir of immortality is rumored to exist. But the island is full of dangers and enemies, and the criminals have to fight for their lives and their freedom. The anime is based on a manga by Yuji Kaku, who worked with Chainsaw Man's author Tatsuki Fujimoto. The anime is made by MAPPA, the studio behind some of the most popular anime anime like Attack on Titan, Jujutsu Kaisen, and Zombieland Saga. The anime has a great story and characters with lots of twists and surprises. The characters are not just simple villains or heroes but complex and realistic people with their own goals, motivations, flaws, and growths. They are also very diverse ranging from samurai, ninja, monks, and even a talking tree. The anime is also very intense and graphic with a lot of violence, gore, and mature content. It's not for everyone especially if you're sensitive or easily disturbed by some scenes. But if you like dark fantasy action thrillers like Dora Hidoro, Berserk or Dororo, you'll love Hell's Paradise. It's one of the best new anime series of 2023 that you don't want to miss. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't be shy about sharing this video with your friends, join the channel, and hit the buttons below the player. Well, unless you are afraid of ghosts, then maybe don't. You never know what might pop up. And stay tuned for the next one. Sayonara!